Hello, I'm Adam Grimes and welcome to Chart School. So I want to talk about a trade that I have found to be very powerful and very useful over the years. Uh, this is a trade that Linda Rashke named the ante and I will show you how she originally conceived of the trade and then I'll show you how it's evolved in my trading over the years and how I think about it a little bit differently. So imagine that this is an indicator, whether it's a MACD or stochastic. And let's actually, let's just assume it's a MACD. And let's assume that that is the slow line of the indicator. So what happens with the, and your fast line would be something like this. So the anti pattern occurs here, where the idea, and this, this was the original idea for the trade. So you have the first time the longer term momentum as measured by the slow line of the indicator turns to the downside and the shorter term momentum goes against that. So originally, it was a pullback in an indicator. Now, that is still the concept, but I find that a better way to think about it is to think about the trade structurally. So you can trade it without the indicator. And there certainly will be, if you're looking at the indicator, you will find, for instance, some anti-patterns in the middle of a trading range. Those aren't the ones I want. I'll show you the ones that I want. So we have a market that has been trending. Yeah. And don't be wish markets trended that nicely, but pretend. And then you have this first strong counter trend momentum. So what you will notice here right away is that the momentum on this leg is different than the momentum there. And it may be as simple as the this downswing is longer than your previous downswings were. You may, in some cases, take out a previous pivot low or something like that. It's not necessary, but the idea is that this leg must generate significant downside momentum. That's step one. Step two is then you have a, I use the word reluctant, but a, it, it's, it's a reluctant bounce. It is not a move that immediately resumes the trend. That's the difference. You know, you have lots of trends that have this kind of upset and then 20 bars later, everything's okay and the trend's at a new high. That's not this kind of situation. What you want to see is a little bit of a reluctant bounce and then you want to take that short. So that's the idea. You have a, and let, let me just kind of draw it out here as we go along. You have a trending market. You have a strong counter trend momentum, a move that generates momentum, and then you have a reluctant bounce setting up another sell up. Now, in terms of trade expectations, I find that this is a case where the measured move objective, and to be clear, what we're looking for here is you take the magnitude of this move and you extend it down from this swing high. So you're looking for a swing here that is this same distance from here. That's your target. What you are not really playing for, and it certainly will happen, but these are not the kinds of trades where you're looking for a major trend reversal and multiple legs down. That does happen, but many times what you'll get is a little trade here, and then the trend does resume, but it's a way to pick that move off in a very structured way. So that's the idea. Let me show you an example. And this is a trade that in my Market Life premium service, we had this set up on Adam's list. This is an anti setup, and I will also tell you uh, this move was generated by earnings. And I don't like to put on swing trades in front of earnings. If you're a short-term trader, this is probably a move that should have been on your radar. If you were a day trader, a lot of day traders kind of trade within the daily setup. This, this is a powerful, powerful setup. Um, for a swing trader, well, we're looking at a trade here that played out 
but I had already removed it from our list because of impending earnings. But the idea is, if you go back here, you can see the ante setup. So you have, let me just kind of map it out schematically, and I, I won't be very precise with my lines here, but you have an uptrending market. You see that? And then you have this move. This move is very important. This move, do you see, is different than any of the downswings in recent memory. We also might notice, this for me is not a primary consideration, but we make a new low on the MACD. That's a way, and new low relative to recent window, let's say maybe 40 bars back. Um, and this just confirms that this move was made on new momentum. So then what you do is you switch your attention to watching the character of this bounce, and you're looking to initiate a short on the first breakdown. Remember, this was a stock before earnings, so I'm not saying this would have actually been a trade to execute, but the concept certainly serves. And your stop, you know, there's a lot of questions on stop location. Uh, you could put your stop here. You could put your stop up above here. But wherever your stop is to your entry, that's your 1R target. And then you work a 1R target. Uh, you, you work a, you reflect that on the other side. So for instance, let's assume very optimistically your entry was here. So your entry, uh, uh, again, I, I think that this is suicide, but over a large sample size, it would be because of the volatility. Let's say you entered here and your stop was here. Well, you take the distance there and your target would have been hit on the first day. And your ultimate target for the expectation for the trade is this move extended down from here. So you probably forecast a little bit more of a move. So that's the ante, and it's also a good reminder in this case of what we have theoretically in terms of setups, but then also how we need to respect the risk in the market and the risk of putting on a position before a potentially volatile earning event. Uh, not really how I choose to trade, but some traders are comfortable with that. Last thought, uh, and let's go back to where we started the video. Do you see here on the indicator, even though this is not, it, it's interesting to see that even though we're just working structurally on the chart, you still pick up many, in many, many cases that actual anti-pattern where you, the indicator is pointing out the short-term momentum of this pullback is counter to the long-term momentum, uh, longer-term momentum, but uh, generated by that sell-off. So that is all I have for you here. I'd love to have you check out my site, marketlifetrading.com. We find a lot of trades like this and a lot of good setups for your consideration. So go check us out, marketlifetrading.com.